Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create some custom number formatting for your chart axes. And this was a suggestion from one of my, one of my subscribers, so I thought I would look into it and put together a short video. So let's say, for example, you wanted to highlight uh, when one of these bars exceeded or went below a certain threshold. Let's say, for example, you have a target. And it's almost like conditional formatting where if maybe you had, uh, for example, in this particular example, if you had sales that exceeded a certain amount, you want the color here to be green, and if it went below a target, you want the color here to be red. So let's go ahead and see how that can be done. And this is basically done with a format, uh, the custom number format. What you want to do is you want to click on the axis, and so now it's highlighted. I'll go ahead and right click it and go under Format Axis, and it comes up with the Format Axis dialog box. You want to go to Number, and you want to create a, you want to select the custom category. Now in here, we want to adjust the formatting code. And let's say, for example, we want anything uh, above 600 to be green and anything below 600 to be red. So I can just use some conditional, it's almost like conditional formatting. And there's some special format codes that you can use. So let's say, for example, we have, we'll say for red or green, we'll say, we just can type in the number green in under square brackets. And this is where the conditional formatting comes in almost. So the next value I'm going to put in there is anything that is greater than or equal to 600. That's going to be green. Now, anything else, that's going to be red. And we put those in square brackets. Now, there, with the colors, there's different colors that you can you can use, and uh, there's a list over here that will show you the different colors you can use. You, you, still, you still have to have it within the brackets, and the operators, those those still have to be within brackets. And here's a list of some of the operators that you can use here. So here's some information about the hash sign and the zeros. So the format code here. The hash sign or pound sign indicates that it's a placeholder for digits, but if there is nothing in the 1000s place, it won't show a digit. And the zero indicates that uh, it's a placeholder for a number, but if there is no number there, it will put a zero. So for example, we have, if we had zero comma zero zero for this 200 value, it's going to show zero comma two zero zero. So that's kind of how it works, and you separate uh, you separate the different format codes uh, with a semicolon. So the, here's here's one section here, and then here's another section there. I believe with these custom format codes, I can only get up to three different format codes. So, but I'm only adding two here for our example. So if I add this in there, you're going to see now that if I close this. You're going to see now that if anything is 600 above, it's going to be green. Anything below 600 is going to be red. Or anything else is going to be red. So that's how you can format the access. So it's kind of just a little neat little trick uh, to do some almost like conditional formatting for your charts. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.